Hey folks, this is Vagrant for a hopefully somewhat more chilled episode of Deathloop. In the last video, we started the game off for the first time. We woke up as Cole on the beach. Colt, I should say. I uh, figured out our name was Colt. <laughs> we are in a place called Black Reef, which is run by a company called Aeon. Eon. And there is a temporal loop rift disturbance thing going on here and clearly they're here to study it and we're here to break this time loop that keeps waking us up on the exact same day and also avoid getting killed by Juliana along the way who appears to be someone we know and have worked with in the past. Hello. On Black Reef knowledge is power because knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Colt remembers everything that you discover on the island and the discoveries recorded here. Discoveries are organised into time periods and districts to which they apply. Select any discovery with a diamond marker icon to enable an in-game marker to help, you gu help guide you to the subject of the discovery. For discoveries related specifically to breaking the loop or discovering special equipment, revert to the visionary leads menu or the arsenal leads menu. So none of these have, as you can see, have diamonds, so I can't click them and like follow them down. It's just like, I hate that it does that, it really annoys me. <laughs> um, it's just like bits of information that we've picked up along the way. Nothing uh, to actually track down as of yet. You can refer back to documents you've got, that's yeah, fine. We've, we've been paying attention to all these as we got them anyway, so. Leads are the most important information on Black Reef, the keys to defeating the visionaries and breaking the loop. Each lead offers step-by-step -step instructions for overcoming your enemies. Cult retains the discoveries within the leads across loops. By selecting a lead, you activate markers. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure you already told me this. So, we went and we found the device. I believe we found the loop control sensor. And the battery was drained. And then all we ended up doing was watching that video. And told us about the LPP, which is in the security office, and we're hoping that is how we're going to turn off the loop, basically. It's obviously not, but that's what we're hoping for. Let's check our loadout. So we're using Tribunal, we're using a pistol, we're using a sort of a automatic rifle, I'm using the spiker and the machete. I'm probably going to replace both of those between rounds, we'll see. I did lose my trinket, which is sad. <laughs> And uh, ready to go. Hopefully this one is in bloody HD. Yes, that is video, still not in HD. YouTube hates smaller channels, <laughs> absolutely hates them. Can't believe it's taken a day to process HD, it's nuts. I have a very funny story to tell you as well, but I'm gonna wait until we're exploring the world a little bit. But prepare yourselves. Prepare your humor bone. You can't get ready. <laughs> you just give it a little rub, that'll prepare your humor bone for the humor. Okay, class, what have you learned today? Oh, you wanted me to answer? I want to know if you figured out who you really are. Oh, that's easy. I'm a drinker, occasionally a drunk, man about island. Everyone knows me, everyone hates me, handy with a gun, quick with a joke. I dress well, and why the fuck is everyone wearing a mask? You forgot to mention your little uh, hack -a thingy. You'll get there. It's a hack -a jig. I'm done playing the show way. It's the cult show from now on. <laughs> I said cult show, not cult. Fuck it. Next stop, security office. Hello. I thought the game might reward me for my anger. <laughs> the game did not reward me for my anger. But you never know. For oh God. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. All right, let's have a little explore. I can take my time a little bit. I'm, I'm much less pressed for time today than I was yesterday. Got a delivery depot that obviously I'm not going to hack into. Hmm. You were never really here or there. Food so They're really against the food, aren't they? Someone's crashed into this. Let's see if we can find a code inside. <laughs> I strongly suspect not, but uh, we'll have a look. Maybe the food is... That's some weird part of the loop or something. I love in-game graffiti, it's always awful. It never looks like real graffiti at any point. Oh, firecracker, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> if, if I could carry it with me, it'd be interesting. Well, I suppose I could, but... There's fist poppers everywhere. Kids love some fist pop, I tell you. A dream. I 
Hey, don't do that. It's rude. Alright, so I want to tell you this little story. So, if you watched yesterday's video, and you got to the end, you'll remember the point where it seemed like my dad had come home from work without reading the text I sent him to be careful uh, that I was recording. And he started knocking rather violently on the door to check what was going on with me and to, you know, whatever. Um... I actually cut out part of that video because there was a part where I literally screamed, Dad, I'm recording! <laughs> like I was a two-year-old child and I couldn't bear to leave it in the video and I felt I just felt bad. Um, but uh, as it turns out, by the, you know, um, <laughs> it turns... Oh, God. It turns out... It wasn't actually my dad at the door. It was the Amazon delivery driver who clearly wanted someone to come and answer the door so he could drop off the package. And I... Oh, God, hello. It's a lot of people. I'm trying to remain sneaky, but I don't feel like I have the tools necessarily to... I think she had like a little bit of protection on her face region. <laughs> Some would call it a face. Just in the sky. I kind of want to go explore that little the little bar area down there. Uh, what do we reckon? Is this gonna be? I think that might be too far. Be disturbed by my disturbance, please. Anyway, yes, yeah, so it turns out the delivery driver understandably wanted me to, you know, turn up and open the door and pick up the package. I was like, Dad, I'm recording. Go away. Read your bloody texts. Oh god. That's my best effort. These 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 masks are uh throw me for a loop, I tell you. Oh baby, that's what I wanted. I wonder if because there's no body, if they don't react to their... Unless, like, they directly see their comrade dying. Like, would they... Would they notice they die, you know? Like, would they notice the lack of comrade? Or is it just... Or with no body, is that not something they're going to pick up on? Where the hell did they go? Oh. Hello, buddy. It's not even just a mask. It's like a... A toy. Total head covering, you know? Ooh, LMP. Well, I think the idea is that I need to replace my guns with guns that I like. There's no point in doing much else. It's Doom! There's a little caco demon. Is anyone proud that I knew the name of the demon? Please please be proud of me, YouTube. Yeah, we'll go explore down there a little bit. I don't see why not. I guess the why not would be... Because inevitably I'll end up coming back here anyway, but... I get the feeling it's like... I'm good. Parts of the world that, you know, that, that, that's the kind of game that will demand and want exploration. Oh, I, I didn't see that hackable suit. I just, at the moment, I don't really have, what the hell? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel, I don't like have many tools at my disposal, you know? But we'll get there. Igor is an L. They don't like this Igor guy. He's one of the uh, the visionaries.
This is kind of like, you know if you watch a zombie film or a zombie TV show, Walking Dead does this constantly. Where they approach a new building. And what they do is they knock on the outside, or they knock on the front door. And then wait a couple of minutes. To see if a zombie turns up, like, drawn by the noise. It's a good way to lure them out of the building without risking yourself initially. That's basically what I'm doing there. Oh, where I'm going. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Bloody third person. Feeling better today, gotta tell you. It's feeling good. What's just, what what's just happened? Oh well, they're everywhere. Bloody Nora. I see the ah, got that better thoughts. Really? It's fine, it's nice to mix up the stuff with a little bit of psh, 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 just blow everyone up. Oh, that was a good shot. Damn, son. I think I'm good. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like it has power. Okay, is that something I can do? Uh, I don't know. It might be something to do with that, or. It's gotta be something here. Reward me for my exploration game, please. At least give me a shotgun. <laughs> All I really want is a shotgun. No one like dash towards me angrily. That suggests they don't have a shotgun. At least I, I can just go up well, that way when I'm done. That'll probably take me back the right, roughly the right area. Yeah. Playing with a little bit of risk here, but Salt Scented Page. Congratulations! By purchasing the Titanium Fortress Secure Personal Vault, you have invested in the most advanced home security solution available on today's market. <gasps> Rest assured that your new code seal safe will remain bulletproof. Oh, sweet. Your, your new code seal safe will remain bulletproof, watertight, flame resistant, unhackable, bug free, and nigh undestructible for decades to come. Please update the default code immediately to a four digit code of your choosing to keep your belongings and secrets sound and secure. Don't forget to write it down. Somewhere safe. Nowhere safer than the safe. <laughs> Ten fifty-three. Well, this is the oh. Well, this is the safe. Well, that's useless. Because <laughs> this isn't this the code for this safe that I just opened. <laughs> the the, the em oh, I want to go this way. Whoa. The empty safe. Why would I want the code to an empty safe? Maybe he's used it on something else. Maybe in another time loop, it's not opened or something. I don't know. There's a little cave here. Dangerous wager there. Okay. Been playing since before. Well, for a fucking long time. Oh, it's the boathouse. Okay, sweet. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we can find this safe then. Let's see what exploration gets you. Slow them or fold them, Frank. Show them or fold them. Wait, wait, who's Frank? Whoa, okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna give him a second. I think that he's probably covered by glass. As much as I would like to pop him in the head. I wonder if I can find like a glass bottle or something. I know there's some back at the other place, but I don't really want to run all the way back. <clears throat> Do I have to go in guns blazing here? I might well do. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh! It's you. It's really you. Um, hi? Hello, Colt. Remember this room? Remember all the interviews we held down uh, here? Uh, shit, I can't say I do. Let me jog your memory a little. Maybe. Oh. Okay, that is not good. Oh, that's not good. Harriet's right. Things are looking up when you just let loose. Lucinda Miroff can call this out. Oh, no. Remember that, Ed? You're doing them a favor. They just won't cut it. I'm doing this for them. 
Do I really sound like that? I can die in here. You know, I promised myself I would just keep killing until the scales even out. I think you'll do the trick. That way, no one else has to die. For the first time in your pathetic life, you'll be doing everyone a favor. Gas Trading Protocols. A great man once told me even paradise needs pest control, blah blah. I just want to skip forward a little. Who event the gas may done about? Okay, first you've got to reactivate the electricity panel. I think. I don't know if I did that. <clears throat> anyway, reactivate the panel, pull the lever. I have to make the panel. <laughs> buddy, buddy, come on pal, we can work this out, we can talk about this, I don't see a lever, there's no lever, it must be in the room. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna very much die, okay I thought I was being very clever but it's not working. But well, it's kind of working. God damn it. Um, um, seriously, where am I meant to be going? Is it down there somewhere? I bet it's down there somewhere. Oh, screw it. Right. I am very curious about this. Is there a way for me to do this without dying? Alright, oh, now. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I have to die. Maybe that's inevitable. Is it? Is it on the outside? This this gas lever. I don't see it. I'm <laughs> immensely perplexed by what is going on here, to say the least. We'll figure it out. Maybe something I can't do yet. <laughs> Quiet, Joe. I don't see anything on this side. That would inform the inside. So maybe what I have to do... Maybe that's just going to stay like that now. Maybe the idea is now that I've had that information... I think I probably have to die the first time. Or come close to it. Maybe there's a way out. But I think maybe what you have to do is come here in one loop, essentially. Pick up that information. And then we can come back in a future loop and use that information to uh, survive next time. Or maybe we can vent it from the roof or something like that. I don't know. It's just, it's just information to keep in mind. We've got a safe code. We've got a gas drainage method. You know, next time he's, we're in there and he's talking away, we can look around for the drainage things. There's an interesting little detour right away. I don't mind taking my time. Seeing the world. Sea world. Fish. Oceans. As they say. Have a little think about that. No, no, no. Right, let's head back in the right direction. I suppose there's not more stuff. It feels like there should be more things lying around for me to pick up, but I guess because money isn't a currency, and, uh, well, what else would I pick up at this point in time? Far away. I've been careful. Be 
technically, she didn't see me. It's not that one guy, it's not. Don't believe the lies. Oh, it's the bloody turret again. Where are the ants? Leave me alone, Ballistic Turret. Thank God for that. Oh. I think it's working for me. <laughs> Already got full ammo. Uh, can you go on my side, buddy? Yeah. Oh, deactivate. I think we'll do that. So you can either leave it up, and assumedly that hacking doesn't last forever, so you do have to keep turning it back onto your side, or you can deactivate it, not use it, but stop them using it, of course, as well. There are no keys on Blackberry. Flock doors are always open by a nearby device. This one can be opened by your hack magic. Cool. I'll do that in just a second. I mean, see, I definitely Don't need it. shot him in the head, <laughs> basically. I think some guys... Oh, hello. Okay, interesting that that turret is there. I'm gonna leave that. Oh. I wonder if it's. You know, I have no idea. Ooh, rapier! Okay. Looks kind of like a shotgun. I mean, the one thing I can't get rid of is the is the is the nail gun. The nail gun's obviously a beast. Right, let's get in here. Okay. <gasps> oh, baby! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for the good shit. Will do, game. Grey gear better than nothing, prone to jamming. Turquoise, big step up. Purple guess best of its type. Gold, rare with weapons. Purple and gold come with perks. So, I, so, yeah, I mean, I like the idea of this weapon swap system, but does it not mean that I now have to keep these guns, otherwise it's pointless anyway? Ooh, we've got a trinket. Sweet. See, that goes to my arsenal. That I get to keep. A visionary's incredible abilities. Here's the latest copy with your suggested, suggested changes. Thoughts? Fear some... Br see a... Zabruska <laughs> may look small, but when she invokes havoc... She possesses the strength of the anomaly itself. Egor Serling can channel ether and vanish in the blink of an eye. Wielding the invisible force of Carnesis, Alexis Dorsey can move living flesh with a mere wave of his hand. Juliana Blake can be anyone at any time. Oh, wow. With Masquerade, she hides in plain sight. This passionately archiving history in the making. When he calls on Shift, Charlie Montague flashes between here and there with a snap of his fingers. Harriet Morse binds people together via Nexus, allowing all to share the experience of one. Head of security. No wonder these people want to kill me. Oh yeah. Fuck. Worth mentioning, get at the bottom there. Colt Van, head of security. So that's what I was, and I... I mean, if your head of security of all people decides to, uh... Bloody hell. <laughs> if your head of security of all people decides to break out... You know, I'd be suspicious. <clears throat> captain, my captain, my cult. You want your here safe to be there safe, and now it is. There, safe, in your up-down flat. Except, Miss Mina told me you left a cult default. Is that an invitation? Everyone knows those numbers, at like 3, 2, 5, and 1. Ali even got them tattooed above her left nip, the coat to her heart. Maybe, probably, you should tweak it. A number here, another there, until it's all again new. Or not, whatever. I threw all my numbers out. Splash. Fare thee well. Thea Saburuska, High Abyss of the Rock. Postscript and such, that LPP of yours is a bit of brilliance, your mind's a minor marvel, and don't let any person tell you otherwise. On Black Reef knowledge progress, you'll often need to return to- yeah, now that you've found the cat- the- okay, cool. Wait a fucking second, I made the LPP? Which means, it's in my flat! Back in fucking Updom! <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Colt. Okay. 
I'm fine with like, you know, looping back through places. Get it? Looping back. Uh, what's this button do? Is it movie time? Little bits of information about who does what in this place. Let's go check out this little building on the left first. Lose yourself atop the cliffs of Updom, the charming historical center of the library. Enjoy unparalleled views from the library, or peek through the gates of Dorsey Manor while away the hours with your choice of two interactive Lights so far away. Am I supposed to get onto this building? I feel like the game. I feel like that's what the game is suggesting I do. I'll do what you tell me, baby. I'm a submissive gamer. <laughs> I'll have a little poke around this time. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, we've got a trinket for that. Exploration rewarded. Everything's below. Yeah, that's a ooh, red carpet. It's really interesting. It, it does have this sort of post future rule. Right, I kind of want to uh, blow them all up. Is this a shotgun, by the way? And did I get them all? <laughs> I mean, there are some there's some guns lying around. I think I got all three of them. And I'm really not a grenade person usually, but it feels great in this game for some reason. I think having the... Oh, hello. I'm looking good. I think having the, the marker, you know, for how close it is to... Um... Oh, whoops, it is. Oh, screw it. Yeah, this is this is a cool little gun. <laughs> I like this one. I mean, I'm always big on shotguns, but this is just a more powerful shotgun, so why not? There we go. Need a little bit of fizz pop. Right, let's have a little peek down here. Oh, this is back to where I was before. Okay, cool. Okay, I feel like I've explored most of the area. City lights, so far away, yeah, ayawa, sorry, <laughs> uh, we should be good to get back pretty safely, I think I've taken out, well no, most of the people in the area. Nice. Back to Updam. I've got the safe code. Safe word. Turns out you were kind of a big deal on Black Reef. That just makes people want to kill you harder. So I was head of security. I invented the LPP, which I can't remember. It's loop something protocol or something. I can't quite remember. Probably the protocol. That's what they keep talking about, like sticking to the protocol. I did die from inhaling toxic fumes, yes. 
So, what did we discover? We discovered that Harriet Morse uh, is the one who organises the organisational structure and also the masks. We found a man lurking in a boathouse. Excited to see me, and then, well, they murdered me, so we'll have to come back to that. And uh, we've got the key for that one, which I'm assuming I have to get past that guy in the, the poison gas to get there. Oh, no, that's Carl's Bay. That's a different area entirely. That's Fristad Rock. Carl's Bay, is that where I started? So maybe I can go back to Carl's Bay and do that. I don't know what that's about. There must be a way to survive that, though. And then, because there's, there's the gas clearing stuff, right? There's no way to tell me how to clear the gas if I couldn't actually clear the gas. And then, uh, back to Updarm. Got a couple of trinkets. A couple of guns. Oh, it's night time as well. Cool. Yeah, okay. Can I track these? No. Okay, so what trinkets did we get? We've got shots from the hip are slightly reduced spread. Aiming is for nerds. You're not wrong. Shots from the hip are... Okay. <laughs> I was just double up on that then. Oh, can I not? No, okay. We'll put it in the... Uh... There we go. Uh, cool. Feeling good? Feeling sexy. So, I could unequip. And then that would be there. And that would leave me room to pick up another gun of my choice. That might not be a bad... I kind of want to always have these two, I suspect, for now. Until I find, like, another shotgun or something. Like, a higher level one. So, I can use those two for this level. Pick up another gun. And then I'll still have the rapier later on. That might be the way to do it, actually. For now. Until I can... Take my guns along with me, which maybe I never can, but who knows? Stretch, uh, savior of the universe. <sighs> I'm still feeling very, um, not railroaded, but I am being told where to go constantly. Um, I'm assuming the game's going to open up a little bit at some point. Maybe it won't, maybe it is a slightly linear experience and it's up to me to. The term is said exploration. But like, for example, if I wanted to go to the, the bay right now, it doesn't feel like that's an option. Juliana, you there? Juliana, I remembered your name. <laughs> Whatever. I remembered your name. And back to Updarm. Updarm is more dangerous at night. Okay. Here to party? I am here to party. I'm always here to party. You know where the party is? Oh, hello. Hey, guys. I have top secret information. Okay, what is it? I said it was top secret. Spill it, asshole. <laughs> okay, okay. Best place to see the fire. <laughs> Maybe she should have waited until she talked. <laughs> she was about to say something. I'm like, nope, blow them up. <laughs> it's just, when you see it, it's so tempting, you know. It's really, really hard to resist. Messed up a bit there. The nail gun is actually really good at the sneaky headshots, but it sucks 
when you have to do anything else, so we have to keep that in mind. Frank sends up fireworks every evening. Oh, look at that! That's nice. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> what have we got here? You'll never know. <laughs> You're very dead. Yeah, dead. They're really struggling with the. Really struggling with the fact that I'm on the roof, aren't they? Bloody Nora, <laughs> I'm having to pop some heads here. I appreciate the fireworks. That's cool. I wonder if that plays in a little bit in that you um in the streets, in the sheets. Oh yeah. In that you uh you don't want to be on this side while this is going on because everyone's looking in this direction, you know? Am I overthinking that? Maybe. Watch for alarms. That was a handy tip. Son of a bitch. Go ballistic turret. Go, my beauty, go! Destroy them for me! Yeah, that didn't last long. I think he... I think he... Re-reset it, maybe? Oh, that was close. God damn it. <laughs> I think I'm too far away. You got a tough ass head, girl. <laughs> I'm fine anyway. Please, please let me die. Well, that's not really high on my list of uh, intentions. What can I say? I'm a picky guy. And I don't want to die. What have we got here? It's got, is there something about these arcade games? I'm curious about those as well. It might just be an achievement, you know, to click like a fist pop and to click like a certain number of them or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to see things get hacked for a limited amount of time. I don't really... Oh, it's a turret! Woo! Hello! <laughs> Shotgun's OP, man. <laughs> it's a beast! <laughs> I don't know why I keep swapping to my uh, knife, though. My machete. And that should be a matter of sense of it. <clears throat> a shotgun is a lot of fun. I'll give it that. It really is. Hackers the light. You mean up here? Oh! There's three codes. Why is this door so important? I have hiccups. <laughs> so many questions the world needs to answer. There's nothing to hack in here. Triple coded though. So this weak ass looking door. That's interesting. What's this? Hmm. Keep that in mind. 
need some fears pop. What the? Whoa. I've been ransacked. You sir, Coco has been suspended for the minicom system. If you leave, this is an error. Oh. Oh, I locked out my minicom. Damn you, Charlie. So Charlie does like the techie stuff. They turned off my beer! The <laughs> evil fiends. He knew my one weakness. Alright. Oh no, my safe! Yoink! Took your precious LPP. I'm too smart, too fast, too powerful, and you're just as slow as boring as ever. I'm not even mad about it, just disappointed. I know you can do better, or you can go fuck yourself, whichever your call. Love, Juliana. Ah, Juliana! You don't call me, I call you. Where's my LPP? I'm not done. This isn't your show, it's mine. I run this place. You want out? You gotta go through me. That what this is? Some sort of hostile job takeover. How does security protects the loop? The opposite of whatever it is you're doing right now. Cool! So I'll just do your old thing then. What was that? Writing hacky bullshit for a bunch of dickbags and <laughs> I don't... Looks like somebody came by to say hi. I'm not finished yet. I locked the doors so the TV can get acquainted. What? Doors! Two little tunnels. Brilliant design, really. And all courtesy of the captain. Yeah. Wait, shit. Fuck this. Gonna lock my tunnels? Then I'll just have to unlock them. Juliana Invasion. Juliana may enter a district to hunt you down. When Juliana invades your game, the tunnel exits are locked. Unlock them by hacking the local radio antennas. You can also take Juliana on and replenish your reprises by defeating her. Juliana only invades districts where Visionary is present and you can only be invaded a limited number of times. Juliana and most of the visionaries carry slabs that grant them supernatural abilities. You can use the visionary slabs, but first you have to take them from their corpses. Slabs are equipped in the offhand. Press up to swap between slabs. Hold to blah blah blah. Each draws on a resource called power, represented by a blue bar in the corner of your screen. Cool. Ah! I tried to hack the entire game. You weren't having any of it. Where is she? There. I don't have another gun. But <laughs> I don't have a gun appropriate for this situation. Alright, screw this. Come on, Juliana, then. I need some, I need some, uh, fears pop. Alright, sweet. So we got powers, finally. I can see shift being super helpful, and if you hold it, we, uh, tumble to our death. <laughs> Again, it's just like, um, it's, it's very dishonored, isn't it, with the, uh, this ability. So it means that somewhere on this level is a visionary, and if we can find them and kill them, we'll get another power. And then obviously they come back, because everyone does in this game. But if we kill them again, then... So every time we kill Juliana... Ooh, cool. Every time we kill Juliana, we'll get an upgrade to our shift slab. It'll become more powerful. Can I get on the roof? That feels ominously important. Yeah, you can see that the distance on my shift is uh, pretty horrific at this point in time. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a good one to hack. Get him, boys. Great. <laughs> well, 
More than one way to crash a party. Yeah, my way. <laughs> Turn off. Uh, that is the way to crash a party right there. No problem or whatsoever. Alexis hosts a wolf. Th oh, okay. Do I need a mask? They all wore the same masks. Shit. Hello. Don't get greedy, Colt. Got my fist pop. Got some nails. Yes, that's what I needed for sure. Okay, this is good. This is like my little defensive room. Get him, boys! Oh, maybe it's just not after me. You say that while I reload. Cheers, pal. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of people. I just want to kill Alexis. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I didn't know. Was, I didn't realize there was another room. Really? Shut the door. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rush the place here. I need some fizz pop. Cold. Visual ID on target. Hello? Stop changing! Whew. Oh, it's a bloody... Torret is no longer my friend, apparently. God damn it, they're everywhere! Really? This is this is a rough old situation I find myself in. I need to hack that turret really badly. Are we good? <laughs> so many of them right there, wait. Oh, made a mistake. Okay, that's fine, we can go back in. I've got another life after this. Because I killed Juliana and they all reset. Hey Cole, going in! <laughs> I feel like maybe this just suits my sensibilities a bit more. Going around like an absolute madman rather than anything else. I can still use my powers. Oh boy! Where's the fist pop? Where's the fist pop? How am I alive? No, don't do that! Blood in aura! <laughs> There's so many. This is some fist bump. When a visionary dies. Oh, I got him. Lupus face under stress means better equipment and a tougher fight. Okay. I got him, though. <laughs> okay, you want me to open this? Boop. <laughs> Alright, sweet. I want my fist pop. I want my fist pop. I also want to get whatever Alexis is carrying. With his stupid little wolf party. Okay. Carnesis. 
cool. New trinket, cool. What if we get Okay, let's try it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Shooting on me. Oh, hello. This thing's got leech. Cover health when you damage enemies. Amazing. Oh, he has another one. I kind of want two. <laughs> This guy was stuck to the nines in gear. Absolutely stuck to the nines. Wait, so how do I do this? Oh. Left? Right? I don't really want to drop any of my guns though. Well, this was a fun little detour, eh? <laughs> Bloody hell, that was a lot of people. Oh, hello. Fuck! <laughs> I do like that. Oh, God damn it! I think I hit from behind. I'm going back in. I'm not done. <laughs> if I know. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna die. Bad time to reload. Frick. Yeah. No! No, that means I lose everything! Oh, I should have got out as soon as I got the. the... Oh my god, did I lose everything? I should have got out. I should have just left. You walked away. Julie didn't. Well, I don't know if that was true either. <laughs> I mean, we've got all the information, but I lost all my gear. Did I lose my abilities? Oh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> you can get overwhelmed really easily, the amount of damage they do. I need to stop. I can't just throw myself into every firefight like a madman. Ah, all right. LPP. Save. Got to get to the safe before. And then really I got, got to the LPP. Safe. Uh, no, better be a gun. Ah, shit, Buck. My weapons are gone. Okay. Um. So, I mean, that's the first time I've died in a long time. I, I think that... It, is that the first time I have died? Which means I already know what's going to happen. Yeah, and I am sick of waking up on this fucking beach. What? Am I supposed to do this every day for the rest of my life? Fuck that! I'm breaking this loop. Cold, cold, Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop there. Put them both together. The body count is gonna get out. You got me and a few others, but you really want to kill everyone on the island? Not efficient. You start to feel kind of bad. <laughs> I feel fantastic. Thanks for asking. And if you try that ambush shit again, expect the same outcome. <laughs> yes, welcome back. I'm just, I'm curious what's going to happen, how this is going to work. Alright, hit the apartment hard, get the safe, LPP, <laughs> uh, break the loop. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Never going to get used to that. So bear with me, folks. 
Juliana stole your LPP, you can still beat her to it. Yeah, this shit's mind bending. So am I going to Ikoe? Ikoe? Of course I survived. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Up down morning. Okay, so is this not <clears throat> Yeah, Juliana resacked my safe during the day, too bad for her, it'll be waiting for me in the morning. Oh, okay, so the idea is we go into a Wait, so maybe dying's a good thing, because I've kind of gone and I've like reset my loop, I've restarted the same day. So now that I know what to do, last time I got the safe information, I had to go in the evening, right? But now we can go in the daytime and grab the stuff from the safe. Unfortunately, my loadout has been utterly freaking ruined. <laughs> but, you know, it's roguelike, so that's just kind of the way of the world. At least you always get spring healed. And it's very much my fault. Um, <laughs> that said... So we're going back in daytime, we're going to go to the safe, I am once again, I mean, we might have to kill Juliana, but uh, I am once again going to be, um, because I, I lost all these powers, I think these probably stay. I'm going to go try to kill that guy again, but do it better this time, basically. I lost my nail gun, <laughs> deeply sad. Right, well, we'll end it there. Um, <laughs> still, I still, it's funny, I've been playing the game for two hours and I'm not 100% sure how some of the mechanics work, but it's uh, it's definitely interesting to say the least. It's a lot of fun to play. I do feel bad about my death. I always feel die when I mess up. I always feel die. I always feel bad when I mess up. I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, it was a tough situation, and I got a little bit overzealous. I would suggest. Uh, oh well. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'll see you, lovely folks, next time. Cheers, much love as always. Bye bye.